Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about proportions. And we're going to tell whether the two ratios form a proportion or not. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's start with number 1. We have 6 over 9 and the other ratio that is 4 over 6. So once again, we can write this one. 6 over 9 is equals to 4 over 6. So we check less if these two ratios form a proportion. To check that one out, very easy class. Just do cross multiplication. So you cross multiply. You multiply this one, 6 and 6. So 6 times 6 and the other one, 9 times 4. If they have the same answer, therefore these two ratios can form a proportion. So 6 times 6, that is, what's the answer class? 6 times 6, that's correct. That is 36. And 4 times 9, that is 36. Therefore, for number 1, our answer is yes. These two ratios will form a proportion. Easy, right? For number 1, let's have number 2. So once again, we can equate this one. We can write this one as 15 over 20 is equals to 5 over 7. So let's check this. If these two ratios will form a proportion, let's do the cross multiplication. So we multiply 15 times 7. So what's the answer? Because 15 times 7. Let's do that. 15 times 7. So 7 times 5 is 35. 5 carry 3. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3. That is 10. So that would be 105. So 105. This is 105. How about this one class? 20 times 5. What's the answer class? 20 times 5. That's correct. That should be 100. So do they have the same answer? Nope. They don't have the same answer. Therefore, these two ratios will not form a proportion. So our answer is no for number 2. Is right for numbers 1 and 2? Alright. So let's try number 3. So what if, sir, the given, you have decimal? So that would be 5 over 4. And then the other ratio, that is 4.5 over 3.6. So 5 over 4 equals 4.5 over 3.6. Let's check if these two ratios will form a proportion. So let's multiply. So this will be 5 times 3.6. So 3.6 times 5. So 5 times 6, that is 30, 0 carry 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3, that is 18. And then you count the number of decimal places. We have 1. So therefore, we move 1 unit starting from right to left. Okay, so this will be 18, alright? So therefore, our answer is 18 plus. Alright, let's try this one. Let's check 4 times 4.5. So, 4.5 times 4. So, 4 times 5 is 20. 0 carry 2. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2. That is 18. And then, you count the number of decimal places. So, we have one number to the right of the decimal point. So, therefore, we need to have one number to the right of the decimal point. Or, you move this one from right to left. And the answer is 18. Same answer class. 18 and 18. Therefore, for number 3, our answer is yes. The two ratios will form a proportion. So, yes for number 3. Is it right for number 3? Let's try number 4. So, we will try number 4 and number 5. So, you try number 6 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check class if you really understand this one. Very easy, right? To determine whether the two ratios form a proportion. Let's try number 4. So this will be 16 over 6 equals 40 over 15. Let's check. Let's do the cross multiplication. Let's multiply this one. 16 times 15. 15 times 16. So 6 times 5 is 30. 0 carry 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. And then 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. So 0. 9 plus 4 is uh, sorry, 9 plus 5 is 14. 4 carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 240. So this is 240. Let's check. Multiplying 40 and 6. If they have the same answer. So 40 times 6. 40 times 6. 6 times 0, that is 0. 6 times 4 is 24. 
240. Same answer, class. 240. Therefore, for number 4, our answer is yes. A big yes for number 4. Alright, so yes for number 4. Yes for number 4. Let's try number 5. So, this will be 3 over 8 equals 18 over 46. So, let's do cross multiplication. So, 3 times 46. Let's multiply that. 46 times 3. So, 3 times 6 is 18. Carry 1. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 138. So, this is 138. And how about 18 times 8? So, 18 times 8. 8 times 8 is 64. 4 carry 6. 6 8 times 1 is 8 plus 6 is 14. 144. This is 144. So, therefore, they don't have the same answer when you do the cross multiplication. Okay, the product of means is not equal to the product of extremes. Therefore, for number 5, our answer is no. These two ratios will not form a proportion. Alright, so you try number 6 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check class if you really understand our topic for today. You need to determine whether the two ratios form a proportion. So you try number 6 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Once again, if you have some questions with regards to proportion and ratio, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me class in our Facebook channel, same name with our YouTube channel. So the next part of our video class, we will be answering proportion solving for the unknown variable. Alright, so once again, this is Teacher MJ. I hope you learned something new today. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.